If you wear a 10, just get that 10. If you wear a 10, get the 10, okay? Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Welcome to Steph Reacts. We'll be reacting to one of my subscribers' YouTube video. His YouTube name is The Real Gettys, and he has a sneaker collection. Let's find out what shoe it is he going to speak about today, and if he knows what he's talking about. I'm going to put the link in the description. Let's go. Yo, what's good, everybody? Y'all already know. We back at it again. I had to slide back through with something new. I like Maybe what we see. Y'all know how I get into it, man. Let me check this out, man. Listen, we got this Air Force One. Have a Nike day. Now, y'all already know. Mm. Nike been coming with some different stuff lately. Y'all know the slogan, just do it, right? Uh-huh. It's been replaced a little bit with Have a Nike Day. They've been doing some different things. And this is that Air Force One Elevate 2. Now, right away, this in, this, this this wax paper here has the stars that's on the front part of the mm. Air Force One. Now, look. This Air Force One right here, I swear. I swear. I swear this shit is fire. Check this shit out, bro. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh. Man, Nike. I like it. Y'all doing something nice with this one right here. And I and it's really lightweight. It's not as heavy as the old Air Force ones. This this Okay, one now right we wait. Let's show us now. Let me look at this right here. Okay. Mm. Boom. On the back. Mm-hmm. Have a Nike day. So dope. Now, these have been turned the earth. In my opinion, those would look good with some nice blue jeans, though. See why I got the little smile? With the earth on it, so dope. Okay. I like it. As you can see here. Boom. Now, this color, when you see it, it looks like it might be white. When you first see it, especially in sunlight. But in different light settings, you can tell that this leather upper is like an off-white, kind of like this shell. The, the, it's called photon dust. Mm, That's okay. the color. That I, I didn't think. know but that. Photon dust. It's a very light, almost like a token powder. Very light. Now... From the video so far, I can tell that he's really, really knowledgeable on his shoes and the way that he's holding his shoes, it shows you that he really takes care of them. I must, I must give him a 10 out of 10 on that. Same with the laces, not necessarily white. Now you can tell if you take a look here at the swoosh. The swoosh is white. Right, right, right. So, okay. get a good contract. File. And the reason why I like that, that's a very neutral setting, very neutral. It puts the shoe in this neutral mode where you can wear it with anything. Now, let's take a look at the inner part of the shoe. Okay. On the inside, you got the peace sign. Peace. It's clean. Black stitching. Nothing too crazy. Plays off of this black color here. I look clean. Of course. Though. All white bottoms. All white bottoms. Now, for me, I normally get a size 10 and a half for most of my shoes. But for Air Force Ones, I generally just go for a smooth size 10. And the reason why is If you watch Kick Genius, for those who know about Kick Genius, Jay would always say, if you... What he would say? Wait, you're not, you're not going to do the, the, the infamous line, bro? What infamous line? You know what the hell I'm talking about. Talking about the fit, huh? Ah, okay. If Man, you, say the dang line. If you wear a 10, just get that 10. If you wear a 10, get the 10, okay? For those of you that know. Because I don't really like to tie my shoes up too tight. I really want to be able to be comfortable and be relaxed. So going a half size down gives me that option to be able to lace my shoe any way I want to. And still be able to... to Sorry for the background noise. If you hear that, it, it is raining right now. It is pouring rain. So, sorry for that. 
to keep that snug fit on my foot. That feels like it's tired, but it's not. Y'all know what I mean. Sometimes it's a 10, sometimes it's a 10 and a half. Now, let's get into some of the material that they use here for this, this shoe. Now, I love it though. This shoe here, this, this leather, I want to say they used a pretty solid. I, I, I don't know if it could be called premium, but I will say this. Some of the leather that they use, you can really tell on the stitching. How smooth the stitching is. How good of a cut of the leather that they use. You can look there. That's really one good way to, to really make sure that you're getting a real high quality leather. Now, this shoe here in particular, I was give it a, maybe a six and a half, seven out of ten. Okay. Maybe a seven out of ten when it comes to I have to respect him with his rating because he know more shoe is up than me. So if he say it's a seven, six out of ten, it's a seven, seven, six out of ten. To the, to the quality of the, of the leather. Now, the old. If you agree or disagree, put it in the comment and let it let me know why, and I would read the comments. Overall design, I'm really loving what they did. They got this little earth symbol on the back. The reason why I like that is because it gives Peace. The, the understanding that we're all in it together. And this is my opinion. I don't know what Nike has to say so about it. This is just the reason why y'all tune in to check this out. This, this is how I feel about this. <laughs> I really like the earth symbol on the back because it really pulls together the whole idea that we're all in this thing together. And the colorways are very neutral, which I feel like kind of also plays into the fact that we can all put this shoe on and feel good about it. Now, I went online, I tried to find the schedule release date for any any other place. I, you know, I, was, I, I don't, the only thing I know is that it just came out here recently. I don't know what the schedule release date is for North America. I wasn't able to find it. Uh, I saw some different dates, but they were all different, and so nothing could be really verified. If you know of uh, the actual release date for North America, if they're gonna drop in North America, um, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know, and let me know where you found it so I can add that to my repertoire so I can be able to take a look at it. Now, let's take a look at both sides of the shoe here. Let's take a look at both shoes. I could really tell that he is really passionate because I, I never know to check up, check all the details what he's talking about. I, ne I never thought about that in my lifetime. So whatever he says, I probably will have to go with it. And I'll probably have to do my own research in, in terms of shoes. But in, ter in terms of what he's saying, he, he sounds like he, he know what he's talking about. We're gonna wrap up here in a little bit. Man, I like what they did with this this paper. I don't know if you can see the stars on it, kind of like in the I can see it. See the stars, it's kind of cool, man. It just really reminds me of that whole Air Force One with the stars. Let's get, let's get both of the shoes out. Now, comes in the regular Air Force One black box with the stamp. Now, take a look here. Both of these shoes together side by side. I really like the way these shoes Fire. Fire. Have a nice day. Now. Fire. I mean, I'm telling you. Fire. Every shoe is not like a, a home run. So. I must say, Air Forces on the whole is something that is a real classic in the Nike shoe collection so i must i must say that i must say that so anything air force related is fire in my opinion sometimes it's gonna be a solid base hit sometimes it's a double you might even drive home a run with just a really good solid hit now this is a good solid hit you do i feel like this could get off with so many outfits so many ways True. so many different angles you could play i agree it's really elusive because it looks like it may be an all white shoe when you, when you slide past it but then you see that great that neutralness in it if you're rocking something like something i like the word joggers so if you got on let's say some uh some gray super some gray super dry joggers taper at the end it's gonna hit that almost the same I show you all that on the just now. It can't be me. Come on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Perfect. 
Blue jeans, black jeans, perfect. I did say blue jeans. He knows what he's talking about, so I give this video a 10 out of 10 already. It's just gonna fade in with the outfit as it's a neutral setting of a shoe. So look, we're gonna finish up with a little bit of the on feet. If you're still hanging in with us right now, y'all know I don't expect you still hanging in, bro. But I would like you to hit the like button and then definitely subscribe if yes, you're sir. What I'm doing. If you like the vibe, if you want more bangers, if you want more hits, let me know, man. Just hit the like button and hit the subscribe. It's super easy and it's free. So it check is. it out. We're gonna finish up with a little bit of the on piece so you can see how it looks. Until next time. Peace. Peace. Fire. I like it. Clean. Mm-hmm. So overall, I have to say that it really looks like he takes care of his shoes and the way he holds it, he, he, he makes sure that it's in a certain way that it, that it doesn't, I would say, damage the shoe. I really appreciate that. But his collection, it looks like he have a, a pretty decent collection. So I, I would probably have to do another review to see what other shoe you have. So let me know in the comments below if you really agree with the comments he said about his shoes because I'm not a really I'm not a shoe person like that but I would I would like to hear what you guys have to say but this is your boy Steph. If you want to see more content like this don't forget to press that notification bell and I am out here. I will not stop, I want the guap, I'ma keep rising until I get high. I like the sun, I fall from dawn, cause I've been told y'all niggas I'm the one.